smell free food. Lame oid. Um, hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy. It's you. Yeah? I guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake and you're a psychopath. Ah, come so on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own and I'm too cool to be a dork and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. By shiny bikes at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. show you how gentlemen behave themselves. They've got nothing on us. Job well done. Welcome to my store, where two tires beat four.
Best wishes to you, fella. Yeah, you want to get a C-785, then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was going to get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fun turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it. Come on. Nice trophy. Here, let me see. Come on. Hey, <laughs> give me that back. to teach lessons or something.
Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Matthews, your geography teacher. I know you're all enthusiastic and ready to learn. Otherwise, why would you be here? No, I'm sorry that it is incorrect. Try again. Hmm, a fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. Try again. 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 Don't give up. Even Christopher Columbus got lost on his way to India. so far. I hope everyone's ready to learn something. This isn't English class, you know.
Job well done. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein, not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Take that. I'm beginning to like this pain.
Bobby. Sorry, Everyone to, come to this. Get that damn land He's got my application. Hello? You, boy, don't just stand there. Come and help! What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? A crapula maxima fortissima. A rare and precious Venus flytrap. Unfortunately, there is a boy at this school, Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Life! and death. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right.
I wonder. Don't be a stranger. Please go to your lab stations. Don't get too creative now, and for God's sake, don't eat anything. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Good job. Keep paying attention. How it's done. Another job well done. You know, I gotta get my friend out of class. He's gotta help me with my own game. Thank you.
that's it. Why are they so stupid? The face of law and order. Do not forget it. Looks like it's time to do the second assignment. If you finish before time, I'll let you go early. Well done. Good show. That's right. Keep it up. Good one. Good one. I don't think that's in the dictionary. Try again, James. Good one. I'm afraid that's not English. Don't worry, James. Failure is just a natural consequence of trying.
stupid bullies kidnapped right. my teddy bear. Will you get it back? So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. Now what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Me! 
Who's the toughest? Me. Who's the man? Me. Me, losers. Me. The champion number one. I killed the best. I will beat the rest. Yeah. What have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff. He's our new it, champion. You... What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <clears throat> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! 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 yeah. You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. My fighting I have and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy.
Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Good. Uh... That's right. Me. Now you girls, learn to play nice. You understand? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Why was my dad a librarian and not a bank robber? 